right, thanks. Uh, next is Claire. Ninety percent of data isn't used today, and it's not because it's not being collected or not being stored correctly. It's because the reports that are created with this data are not persuasive enough. There's no alignment across businesses and different groups within your company, and there's no buy-in from senior management. They don't trust the data that's being created. So we specifically spoke with Marriott, and today they have lots of different brands across multiple different segments of this 30 billion nightly stays in the US. And they're, they're lacking a real data strategy here. So they collect it, they use really good reports like Excel, Tableau, PowerPoint, but then they don't follow up on it. There's no accountability to make sure that these reports are used to drive the businesses, to drive the business needs. And that's where Claire comes into play. Claire is a report management platform that takes these PowerPoints and PDFs created by the best business intelligence team, organizes it in a way that there's accountability, follow-up, and there's traction for these ideas across the entire industry. We're creating a a platform. So we're creating a platform that as a manager, you see all the different data sources that you have today, both internal and external. You have a team that's creating reports, so you can request different reports with different metrics. And then from there, Claire will help organize it, ensure follow-up, and ensure there's monitoring across the system. The issue isn't the people, or the issue isn't the tools that they have today. The issue is aggregating this all together. And that's where the open data sources are necessary too because you have your internal data that you know really well. Claire is able to look at companies similar to yours and recommend open data solutions across different industries and from different areas that people have used to solve similar business needs that you're trying to track. And we know that this is a huge issue today. So McKinsey did a study on, where they surveyed CEOs across multiple industries and they said, your two biggest concerns are that there's not a strategy and organizational structure in place to use data today, and there's no buy-in from senior management. We have all these really good tools for collecting data, but we can't actually use them to affect our business. And that's where Claire has a clear advantage in the report management and taking up where Tableau and PowerPoints are left off. And You've seen this already with the power of what Domo can do. When you're monitoring something, when you're bringing a focus to it and you see it on your day-to-day -day space where you're seeing over time, how is my business improving? You're able to actively improve with this. And we're starting off where we've had the most traction. Marriott's excited about this. They know they need a better way to manage their reports. And then even the Mate and and Carry, which is the number one in and Carry, they said, we need a better data strategy. We need this infrastructure in order to use our data more effectively. Because the hotel industry has open data already today. They have occupancy data, they have demographic data, but they need to be strategic about how they use it. And as a business intelligence system, this is scalable across multiple industries. We're starting off where we've seen the traction the most and then moving <coughs> into different organizations that know they need to use data today. Entertainment has been the most receptive so far. So Sonny and I have developed a concept, a proof of concept, where we've gone out, tested it with potential customers. We need a software engineer and a data scientist to finish out building the MVP and ensuring that the recommendations that the system's giving you on how you're creating your reports are technically sound. And we've been funded so far by the Andrews Launch Accelerator. We've partnered with HQ Raleigh as one of our case studies. Our mentors across the business space have ensured that we're talking to customers first. Um, so together, join us in using data and using your insights to create powerful business applications. Uh, thank you for doing this tonight. I really can resonate with that, the way you position that the product on that reusing reports I do think there's a gap there okay here's a here's a tough question which is if somebody says to you yeah I, why couldn't I just do the same thing with a very well organized mm -hmm. SharePoint absolutely I mean there's yeah, a band, I hate SharePoint there are band-aid solutions out there today 
where people are giving good reports. The issue is once your team's more than five people big, how would you differentiate your product? So what we've noticed from a lot of the companies that we've spoken to, especially Marriott, they've got a super, super extensive team, someone doing everything manually. But what Claire does is allows you to automate those management processes, saving you time, saving you money, and helping people from the different venues, different spaces, different brands, or even different companies all be able to access data from the same centralized location and take action upon it and monitor that throughout time. Here's just kind of a look into that user flow process where we come in um, and then where stuff starts to break down. So I didn't see this on the one pager, so I have to ask, how much have you accomplished since September 20th? Okay, so we've been working on this project, researching for the last about three months, but we finally figured out where in the data ecosystem we're trying to actually target, and that's this report management. So since then, we created uh, design and the, the design concept, and then we've been testing it now for the last uh, about three weeks. We've had hints of it from a lot of the other companies, but our recent scheduling with Marriott we're following up with them with about three meetings in the next one or two weeks. Um, they kind of solidified that this is definitely the direction we should be heading in. They're the number one hotel chain uh, in the world, holding 20% of the market share. So speaking a little bit about the open data part of your... Okay. Yeah, so um, most of the people using this platform have a little bit of uh, data technical experience uh, and or they don't. They may be a manager or a director. When you're building your different data sets based on what you already have uh, archived into your library, what you've already refined or processed, you pull it together in sort of this sandbox setting that you see uh, wireframed out here on the right side. Uh, and then Claire actually has an AI built in that gathers information from the greater neural network of all the participants that are using the platform. And she can help you identify what open source data can you actually use to improve your data sets to tell a better story. And she'll drop those recommendations into your sandbox. How are you differentiating, differentiating yourself from other reporting and metadata tools? Uh, you, you speak specifically Domino, Tableau, et cetera, but there are many other tools in this space that are covering very similar capabilities. Mm -hmm. We have actually looked at over 100 different tools. Uh, a lot of them really stop short after the report space. So we're not trying to step on their toes there at all, but the thing is a lot of these reporting tools, they create the reports and then they don't do any follow-up with them, right? So you've got maybe uh, one hotel out in this region, another hotel in another region. They're both doing the same type of event. One of them is gathering data on it and then they're building out a report. But then this other hotel doesn't even know that's going on because all the reports aren't being stored in a centralized location, aren't being managed by someone on the team and overhead. And then finally, there are no variables or metrics set on those reports and those groups of reports once you've triaged them to identify your specific priority for your data strategy to actually ensure that you're getting the impact and the quantified metrics to prove that this is actually benefiting your company or do we need to refine it and if so, how? So who at the Marriott would actually be using Claire? It would be the business intelligence teams because each division at Marriott has their own business. 